Alrighty. Well, I know that uh, David Lukacs is going to join us with the audio shortly, um, like as soon as he sorts that out. Uh, but I can begin. So welcome everybody. I'm. I'm. Uh, my name is Rob Cole, and I'm the uh, head of gaming at Aftermath Islands Metaverse. And uh, our website is aftermathislands.com. And we are a metaverse project that uh, has supporting games. And our theme is to have many themes. So we have islands that are uh, each have their own theme. The themes could be uh, uh, interacting with dinosaurs, a Western world. Um, and then we have community islands, which are suburbia, where we work and earn and play, um, and uh, estate islands that uh, uh, you know, like for the rich and famous, you know, private islands type of deal as well. So, uh, I Rob, think I'm you, here. Oh, you're her here. Fantastic. Yeah, it's just I had, there was two um, tabs running. The Twitch tab was also here. <laughs> so, uh, oh yeah, so so just a tip here. Yeah. If you're going to be in the booth and also talking, just mute the Twitch. Yeah. Just mute the Twitch. Yeah, yeah. It took me a minute to figure that all out. Because they're so lag. They're, they're lag yeah. by like 30 seconds. If you're yeah. in the booth and you're not talking, uh, it, you're welcome to listen to the Twitch and mute the con instead. What you can do is you can right click the, the yeah. internet tab and hit mute tab. Uh, it's your choice. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah absolutely. So, so thanks. I, I've been here since Rob started, so that was great. Thank you for having us today. And uh, Absolutely. Really appreciate it. It's, so, uh, it's amazing. So, so we, as Rob said, we are Aftermath Islands, and and really we are an open world metaverse uh, built in Unreal Engine five. Uh, we have uh, pixel streaming and GPU cloud serving, so there is no download. That is really important. Mm -hmm. Our metaverse has high fidelity graphics with absolutely no download. You can play it on a mobile phone. You can play it on tablet. You can play it on laptop, desktop, no. and go from there. What we've also done is 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 we think of seven principal tenets when we think about our metaverse. We think about the ability to work, to play, to learn, to earn, to entertain, to create and socialize, so that you can do the best things in your virtual life right in, in our platform. And we're integrated with Ready Player Me and some of the other, we have our own customized avatar platform. So if you have a Ready Player Me avatar, you'll be able to come into our platform. and. Um, Everybody always wants to know, because it's wax, where our NFTs are. And and we'll show you this in a few minutes, but we have a play to earn game, which is free, that you can earn NFTs that will be building block resources inside our platform. Wow. Now we, we launched this platform in late October, October 19th, 2022. And by tomorrow, our users will have generated over a million NFTs. Now, what's really interesting about that is that to get into our platform, we require proof of humanity. So what is proof of humanity? Proof of humanity is the ability to you to verify that you're a real person. And we do that using the Liquid Avatar mobile app. And that allows us to have one user only has one account. No fake accounts, no duplicate accounts, no bots. So every NFT that we have generated on the Wax platform has been by a real user. There's wow. no fake accounts, no bots, and no duplicate accounts, which is really sort yeah. of the state of where things are going. Yeah, right? you, you managed to do that. That's not always easy to do, to find a system to do that, so it's cool. Well, truth be known, we own the system. We've been <laughs> developing digital identity for six years, and, and oh, we have a lot. Yeah, so, and that system, by the way, is open open for other game companies and developers and platforms. If there's an opportunity that you want to talk about proof of humanity and how you can improve the engagement with your um, platform, we're happy to talk to you about it. We want we want more and more people using this, the same credentials. Now that is a proof of humanity credential, which says Rob as he's running around here. All we know about him is that he has a unique identity. We don't know anything about Rob, right? But Rob can create a marketing credential that he can pass over to an advertiser and said, I'm willing to do X, Y, and depending on which country you are, Z or Z, but what are you going to give me in return? That is really important. And I'm going to ask Rob to go back into the clubhouse because we're going to show you how we integrate 
virtual commerce and e-commerce together. This is really super important. Because when you think about it, the metaverse should be the next generation of what people are doing online. It should replace everything. It should enhance the internet-based experience. Now, eventually, everyone will have virtual um, VR and AR will be fully incorporated into XR. We all understand that. We've been doing this for many years. But at this time, we're creating a metaverse that is based on high fidelity principles. So when Rob looks at that picture and talks a little bit about our uh, one of our islands, but when he clicks on it again, it's actually going to open up a new browser window, a new browser tab, I'm sorry. And that tab is going to be a Shopify sure, yeah. store. Sure. So you can imagine that brands can start to create experiences in the metaverse that links directly to their e-commerce opportunity or their digital commerce opportunity. So you can buy wearables or items while you're in game or in platform and never have to leave. So we can incorporate web two into web three today. That is a really unique difference. We can create meeting spaces, trade shows. We can create access portals. So we have a membership, which will also be a credential so that only our members get special opportunities and while they're in our platform. So this is really what we do. We've created an open world that is high fidelity graphics. NFTs are a key part of what we do, but we don't think of NFTs as, I, I apologize because we've been around the space for a while. We don't think of them as, as, as sort of crypto or crypto trash. Mm -hmm. We think of them as usable items inside our platform that you'll be able to trade with others and, and create that value inside our platform. It's similar to any other game. When you start thinking about games and you want to buy that, you know, Katana, that is, you know, yeah, exactly cool. You know, you're going to pay for that in in-game currency. But but we can we can tell someone by looking at the blockchain that only one of those katanas exists. There isn't two or five or ten. Only one exists. So we use the blockchain as a supply management platform, and we and we create NFTs that ma that are managed by that supply blockchain. And we use and the cool part is and Rob. Maybe you want to flip over to Alcott and we'll talk about our feeder game. And this is really super cool. Cool. Uh, let's, let's take a quick moment. Anybody got sure. questions? This is really neat. I didn't realize you have a full blown 3D metaverse. I just didn't yeah. take, I did not have the time to like look into other projects. We've been really quiet, quiet about this. We've so been really quiet about I thought that. I'd learn about it here. Yeah, yeah, it looked really cool. It looked like an actual 3D. Yeah. environment and game this is stuff yeah. that other projects don't have yet i mean some, some do but for the most part they don't but and they don't have this pixel streaming and browser based yeah browser based yeah a lot of very very good benefits and, t and things you just touched on and you'll be able to go into these lands and not only congregate with people there which is a metaverse but you're you're putting in like almost real life type things in there like actual yep. things you'll be like a second life but in a in a on crypto right better <laughs> well, well on nfts i don't want to say on crypto because we we, we well, on web three fight ourselves like, but on web three we're, we're really moving the needle and we've been in the internet space since before web one but but we're moving that needle from web two to web three but not forgetting that web two still exists like everybody's not going to jump out of web two and go to web three and web three really means as well that it's the owner economy so your data you have to protect your data and we started with that premise so, so it's not you're giving away all your data for free. You own your data, mm -hmm. and your proof of humanity proves that you are a real person, but you still own your data. You're not giving away anything. Awesome. Uh, and, so go ahead, and then we'll show Elcott. Yeah, before you continue, I have a bounty block link now. It's going to go right here into the chat, mm -hmm. and it's going to go into the Twitch. Uh, there. So you guys have uh, four, like 30, 40, 40 minutes, 40 minutes left to go in there. Uh, we got the, the basic following. It's mostly for us, but I also have your Twitter in there to follow. And there's sure. a retweet on there. So if you do, oh, that's great. If you do the retweet, then that, that's going to retweet this event. Uh, and then five minutes before there, I'll draw it. Uh, the, the prizes are a pack of one promo NFT from Consumer Break, an NFTopia pin. That's going on all of them, every event. And shout-outs to Ranman, who's in here. 
uh, just a user who earlier today bought a whole bunch of jigsaw pieces from our collection, and he just he said he's gonna give me three of them for this. So three people will win a puzzle piece from Consumer Break. Oh, that's great. And um, um, at the end of the day, you know, we're we do a lot of promos. If you join our Discord, we do a lot of promos. We do a lot of weekly events. Um, but if, if I can add to this now and, and talk about Alcott, so mm -hmm. we designed, a, 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 again, another browser, well, another browser-based um, uh, platform called Lost Kingdom of Tessara. Again, no app, no download, plays on your browser, mobile phone, desktop, tablet. And mm -hmm. what you do is, is you start to hire, we call them minions, you start to hire minions to mine resources off different islands. And you can... From a strategy perspective, you can increase the number of minions. You can increase the production schedules. You can in there's so many things that you can do, and every day there's daily bonuses and prizes. You can hunt down the eagles and get golden coconuts, which you can use to power all of your islands. And you can open up different islands, and each island has a different type of resource. And we've just changed a couple of our island resources um, uh, over the last couple of days. And when you've collected enough resources or your minions, and this runs persistently 24 seven, you know, it's sort of set it and forget it. You can run it while you're sleeping. When, when your minions collect enough of a, of a product, it'll show up that you can, you can collect an NFT. You can get an NFT. So let me, Rob's going to find an Island that he has that has NFTs on it. There we go. So he's gonna he's gonna get it. and these items are all going to be used inside Aftermath Islands as resources for the creation side of the and the questing. So Rob's requested that he get he spends a thousand nuts and bolts to get an NFT. Clicks on it, and it says you it's been successfully recorded. Now here's the really cool part, and and you guys know this well. Within twenty to thirty seconds. That NFT will be minted, or we call it generated, and it will be put into your wax wallet immediately. We don't hold it; it goes right into your wax wallet. And as I've said, we, look at look at how easy it was. In the last three months, our users have generated just under, and when I mean just under, it's just literally about fifteen thousand under one million NFTs to be used inside our platform. Wow. So uh, open to questions, open to discussion. I, I look at I. I know we've got an hour, but we want to show you what we do. And again, um, maybe uh, we can put it in the chat. If you go to play. Islands. Com, you can get into our metaverse. You don't need proof of humanity right now to run around the clubhouse, <clears throat> and you can get a Ready Player Me avatar if you don't have one. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna put this in the Twitch. Great. No, you oh, just, there, if you, you notice on my screen here, my NFT has been minted. It's now in my wallet. Yep. Done. Done. And and at the end of the day, um, if you want to play Lost Kingdom of Tessara, Rob, the URL is play.elkot.io. It's lkot.io. Lkot.io. Lkot L we call it Lost Kingdom of Tessara. <laughs> we call it Elcot internally. L K O T dot I O. Uh, Twitch go. I was listening to Twitch. Twitch is still here. Yeah. My cam just went out, but Twitch should Where still be going. Go? Yeah. <coughs> so has anyone got any questions? We'd love to answer some questions. Um. I'm not sure if specific questions, but uh, like I just like the the fact that it's a big, like what you just showed, the, the big 3D environment. Yeah, maybe show more in there, walk around some. Yeah. Uh, what kinds of things can you do in it? It's look at that. It's so uh, it's a very can, high quality look. It looks almost realistic. -ish. Yeah, we we've we've taken the what we call the best of Netflix and the best of gaming and put it together because again, there's no download, right? So your 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 machine isn't isn't being uh, used to to deal with all the graphic processing it's all pixel streaming it's all processed in the cloud and sent down and as you can see this is our favorite thing we show the sun glinting off the the tiles and you can see the scratches in the tiles that's and you're seeing this through a browser through twitch right 
you're with with a little bit of latency not a lot but a little bit of latency <clears throat> that's how good this platform is we've got 45 different islands being built we've got different themes again you can work and, and live in community islands which are safe zones um you can play you can go questing you can earn nfts and other things through crafting and uh, and, and our elcott game you can um learn we're setting we're starting to work with universities and colleges to start to set up um opportunities for virtual learning in the future you can be entertained we're working um have worked in the past with companies like disney and marvel so wow. we're hoping that we can um do some of that again where um you can create we've got a suite of creation tools being built and you're going to be able to socialize now here's the cool part you don't have to worry about the fact that there's pe bad actors and people spamming you because so, if you're a bad actor and you're booted from our system you can never come back never never watch because yourself we, we use biometrics to verify that you're a real person and unless you have two faces you're gonna have a problem maybe that's a good segue into where we are today and where we're sure where please, we're going go for so, it uh so today we have this island this island is our entrance point uh as an not signed in um person then i will be able to interact with the npcs i'll be able to interact if there's a brand activation here i can interact with the brand activation i'll be able to learn about aftermath island see it uh, uh play around with it and decide whether i'd like to continue so what is coming very soon is the ability to log in with a digital identity, liquid avatar digital identity. And that will be able to take us um, then off of uh, off of the island if we cho chose to. But it also gives us the additional functionalities uh, such as chat. Uh, being able to interact with one another will only come after the digital identity is put in shortly. And the reason for that is because, as David mentioned, we have, uh, want to make sure that people are accountable, anonymous, but accountable. If I know that I can get booted because enough people said, you know, this guy's abusing his uh, ability to chat, then I'm going to kind of, uh, you know, watch what I say type of deal, right? So, or temporary ban or, you know, however the, it's dealt with. Uh, the ability to uh, craft which is all those cool resources that we uh, uh, that you see in the Elcott that uh, is being able to bring them into the game, bring those NFTs into the game. They become then become in-game items, um, and you'll be able to uh, put those. You know, uh, this hunk of metal and this um, I, you know th this leather and this piece of wood and this piece of, and make a really cool sword, right? Which then is my in-game sword, which um, I. I would be able to, um, um, you know, I could use it to go slay a dragon or I could uh, go into the marketplace and I could, uh, uh, you know, I could be a sword, a sword creator, you know, that could be my profession, you know, making, uh, you know, armaments and, uh, and set up my own little business, you know, making cool weapons, for example. We have a suite of professions that will become available um, as we open the islands up. Take a breath. Our first island that we will be opening after the clubhouse is called the playground. So the playground is essentially done um, and uh, will be released um, in the coming months. And it will be like a taster's, uh, a, a charcuterie board of the Aftermath Island. So there'll be regions within, within the uh, uh, playground one that represents Camelot K, it has a medieval feel, the Western towns, the uh, dinosaurs will be roaming, a big stadium, um, so that you you can get a feel of the different th types of things you can do and then decide, hey, where would I like to live? You know, where would I like to buy, you know, purchase a plot of land and, and build my, my store or keep my things there or, uh, you know, throw a party. Um, and maybe you may want to, uh, um, you know, have uh, plots of land on, uh, many islands are because our plots of land are not um, expensive like some other uh, metaverses. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, I'll interject there. Land in our metaverse starts at thirty-five dollars US. The land is is and and can be earned through issuing through the the, the creation of of, of uh, NFTs in in uh, resource packs in Elcot. 
we want everyone around the world to be able to own land. We believe that we've created an inclusive economic model, and we want to encourage people to come out now. Um, you know, also stay tuned, everyone who comes, and if you join our Discord channel, because in the upcoming weeks to celebrate our 1 million NFTs, we're going to have some super giveaways, some really cool giveaways. So um, you should uh, you should look to see um, uh, what's going to be happening on our Discord channel. And But at the end of the day, the model is built for everyone, for everyone. And um, again, I want to go back to proof of humanity for a second because I think it's really important. Proof of humanity just doesn't prove that you're a real person, but can – can lead because KYC, when somebody asks you for KYC, it's too much. Why do I have to give someone my passport to get into something? And where are they storing that information? How are they storing that information? Yeah. To get in, we want to know that you're a real person because we don't want bad actors in our platform. We want real people. So that's easy. What, but at the end of the day, let's say you want to go into a casino inside our, our metaverse. You then may be asked for KYC because the casino – requires mm -hmm. to make sure that you are over a certain age and and their license requires to verify it. in that case you've already proven you're a real person you're going to add additional information get a credential for the casino and then you're going to be led into the casino you don't have to give everybody all your information you give information as you see fit that's how we do it in the real world mm -hmm. i don't go into one store give a clerk my driver's license and everybody in the world gets my driver's license who owns a store if I want to buy a bottle of liquor, I have to do it each and every time. I decide who gets my information and when. And that's the way the real world works. And that's the way Web3 is supposed to work. I love it. So uh, can somebody hop into the lands right now? They can go into that play link and what yep. what's available? Uh, do they have to buy anything to start? No. Or nothing just nope. what, so it's an actual like a video game and it's free a free video free. game that you go in there and then you'll get your items and in, in there's things to do inside to be able to get nfts there, we just launched the beta server um uh a couple weeks ago so right now we're testing people running around and okay. looking at things but rob and the team are adding more and more activities over the next few weeks so Love get it. in there play around um again there's no cost and and again if you go to alcott.io, you can play Lost King of Tessara for free, right? You're going to need your proof of humanity, but you can play Alcott for free, and you can start gaining NFTs. There's no cost for that either. Very awesome. Is this uh, is this only wax, or are you cross chain? No, right now we're only wax. Um, uh, you know, some of the other chains have approached us, but they cannot meet um, they cannot quite meet our requirements just yet everybody is is wax is is we have a lot of good things to say about wax a lot of good things to say about wax and um um again we've been sort of the dark horse we've told people for the last year what we're going to build and everybody said yeah yeah sure sure you know because everybody's talking about browser-based applications and pixel streaming because we're built in unreal engine 5 not unity so there are no machine resources for our for our metaverse Yes, Lost Game of Sar is on Unity, so it requires a little bit of resources, but it's a lower level of graphics. But we're able to achieve the high level of graphics without any machine resources. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Rob, did you want to comment on that? Uh, don't. No, I don't have any comment on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sum that up. So. But we're we're open to taking questions. Ask us anything, and we'd be. This is sort of the AMA part. Ask right. us anything, be happy to answer it. Right, yeah. Uh, I tried to think of some along the way. Anybody in the booth, this is really cool. I'm just gonna pop the screen. Oh, screenshot. somebody's asking Elcott. It's L-K-O, I'll write it, L-K-O-T oh, yeah. dot I-O. Yeah. Oh, I'm not, actually I can't because I'm not on Twitch on this on this computer. Can somebody put in Elcott for me, L-K-I-T? Or can you put it in, the, in the, booth, the booth chat? And I'll sling it over. Yeah, I did, but it's been buried. Oh. <laughs> L-K-O-T dot I-O. L-K-O-T dot I-O. All right, that's, yeah. not, that's not complicated. Not, not complicated at all. And then the other one, if you want to play into the real world, 
that's play.aftermathislands.com or go to aftermathislands.com you can learn some more about us and there's a link there of mm -hmm. course to to play can you go to any land or, or is it limited for now right now it's just the uh it's right now this is the first island we've launched because we need to test appreciate the fact that nobody has really done pixel streaming on a commercial level like this before so we're testing the breaking points okay very yeah, cool just just released this uh, island weeks ago we've been doing server crash tests where we have a discord um that uh, uh if you want to get in we've got a poker tournament tomorrow um uh, if you want to nice. uh, um, uh, attend our amas uh, it's on our discord channel the uh, if you uh, maybe kara can throw that into the chat as well um, yeah 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 throw links into the chat for sure yeah. Uh, so that's also good to hear. You have a Discord. You're active in it. Uh, I'm sure yeah. you already have a community that's like stoked about it. Do you have a lot of people running around in it already? We uh, oh, what we do is we do uh, uh, we do crash tests. Anybody can go in there. I'm, uh, we I display this all the time, and I'm constantly bumping into people. Uh, we do uh, uh, right now. What they like to do is they'll get together for little meetings because they have little guilds that are they're setting up now, and uh, they'll jump in here and uh, all with their avatars. <laughs> They'll use the Discord, Discord voice channel and, and talk to each other. So yeah, they're conducting meetings in here because they get to goof around and dance. Love um, it. Instead of just looking. Yeah, because that's a meta. Exactly. You yeah. can go into your metaverse to to do events just like this convention. So, um, you know, in the future we had we had brought it up before that we could bounce around conventions at different metaverses. Yeah. Uh, not just a convention like like which i think is already really cool it's like real life like hopping cities but we could even eventually i think it's totally going to happen years from now you're going to be able to seamlessly jump from one to the other from all these different games so we're already we're already built to do that yeah so so, so i think that would at, at some point we're going to have conventions like that like yeah. uh, i hope nftopia to where like like this is your event we're going to go to your metaverse and do your event yeah. and then the next yeah. hour we'll go to the other metaverse so very very cool stuff well, it's one of the reasons have why embassies. we sorry, go we're going to have embassies uh, for other metaverses inside our platform where you just come to our our metaverse, open that particular door and walk into another metaverse from one of our, our partners. Yeah, we believe that, I love that, that. Is, it's all about, you know, we talked about the seven you know, basic principles. We call it 734 work, play, learn, earn, entertain, create and socialize. But then we think about the three industry tenants. We need to be a complementer, a cooperator, and yes, we need to be a competitor. So those are the three things. And then when we get people inside, we have really four things that we have to achieve. We have to increase awareness, increase engagement, increase activation, and increase conversion. So we're really focused on what your experience will be and how will you benefit from the use of our platform. We are uh, speaking to the interoperability. We are a dev partner with uh, Ready Player Me, and uh, we chose Ready Player Me because uh, it's we think it's it's a winner. There, they've already integrated in with uh, nearly four thousand uh, other games. Uh, it's very easy to to come in and create a uh, uh, an avatar. I can take a photo, and it'll automatically generate an avatar that looks like me. Or I can continue without a photo and uh, you know choose a, a starting point. I can and then uh, um, create my avatar. I can dress my avatar up. Uh, we have wearables. Um, obviously, there's the aftermath on sweatshirts. Um, and I can change my face, my eyes, my hair, wow. um, make it look at, uh, as outlandish as possible. And <laughs> then um, you know because you know why not? And then uh, put on a funny costume. And uh, and then from there, then that's where I um, I say, OK, now my avatar is created and then I can choose to uh, sign up so that I always get this avatar again or I can go in without, uh, um, you know, saving this avatar and then it'll jump into and bring it into the uh, into the metaverse. You know, it just takes so a second. That's very cool. And yeah. again, the quality is very, very good. Uh, I imagine you're gonna you could easily at some have a convention land like it could be like this like inverse but it's tail it's inside your metaverse or Absol absolutely yeah. we could digital twin it because we are Unreal Engine we could digital twin it so it looks exactly like your offices um, it could uh, 
Um, just no, I like the. Yeah. I mean, I like the look of it, it, from the topic we were just saying. Where like in the future we can bounce around. I like that idea of, like you just said, you have a door inside your metaverse. Yeah. You walk right into the other one, so you yeah. could walk right from yours eventually to yeah. like the Avalon one. The Avalon's got the like the open world fantasy. So you'd walk from boom into that one. Now we're gonna do stuff in that one, and that well, would you just might be have so to- cool. You might have to, when you think about it as an interoperability, we'd love that if you're an RPM, Ready Player Me avatar, we're already working with um, other partners to try and get the token, not, not the token that you think of, a uh, crypto token, but the token transferring one avatar from, from one place to another. But um, uh, but you, even if it was an anteroom, I leave this metaverse, I go into an anteroom, I pick up my avatar from uh, another metaverse, and then I go into that metaverse. And the anteroom asks as that transition point. We're, we want, we believe there's there's safety in numbers. We believe that if you talk about decentraland, decentraland and decentralized um, opportunities, you talk about the sandbox, everybody should be able to go from A to B to C to D very, very easily. That That's the way, that's the way it, it should be done. And we're a big purveyor of that. We're, we're, we're a big supporter of that. And again, I think the things that we really support, if you really think about Web3, um, one is is powering the owner economy. So if you want to be a, uh, a crypto bug or you want to be a token enthusiast or you want to be an NFT enthusiast, you have the right to rena- remain anonymous. We provide that right. But what you don't have, in our opinion, is a right to be a bad actor, right? Mm-hmm. So if you're so if you're a bad actor, we don't want you. If you want to open up multiple accounts, we don't want you. If you want to open up fake accounts, we don't want you. Because then we're not looking at an eyeball play; we're looking at a quality of user play. Mm-hmm. Well, it's it's so cool. You already got that oh, yeah. stuff thought of thought. Not just th- thinking about it, but I already got it squashed. I already solved it. So yep, yeah. Yeah. And again, it's free play. You can come in, do stuff and play for free. We're, we want people to try it. We want people to engage. People have to understand, hopefully, that it's still early days for us, but that's where we are. Mm-hmm. If you're a brand or because our graphics are so good, your your products can be represented as uh, they are. I was are. just going to ask, what yeah. kind of collabs type stuff would you have? Uh, would you be open to other creators, other collections creating their own areas, yeah. that kind of stuff? Uh, wearables comes to mind first, right? Wearable, wearables, wearables. Uh, okay. right. Um, and I, I'll say digital twins of goods, right? If you're selling stuff in the real world and you want to sell it virtually, you can do programs because we can integrate to to uh, web platforms. You can buy, you can sell something as a digital item and as a physical item or digital, right? You can sell it as both. So um, consumer brands, um, uh, we've got we've got a build-a-thon going on right now with Renovi for people to to start designing property houses and buildings, nice. which people will be able to see. So we've got a creator program starting for designers. We've got we've got brand programs we've got v and e-commerce programs we've got wearables if you've got an idea we want to hear from you because we want to collab with you that's awesome we're, we're really building like what the metaverse is supposed to be which is yeah. the it's a platform in or, where people can do what they want to do we we don't want to be the, the you know dictating everything we're gonna we'll we'll start it off and we'll give you the platform and then you do what you want to do. It's your piece of land. Yeah. You know, so do do what you want. You know, so what would creators need within, to do within, within the terms of service, right? Within the terms, yeah, terms. And, and, uh, you know, and we ask that, you right. know, if if you're on the, you know, Dino Roar Alley and there's T-Rexes running by, please don't put a future, bo- uh, I don't, you know, future looking uh, building there, you know, those types of things, right? So what would do, creators need to do? Uh, they, or they, your they, sheep, they, your sheep will get eaten. Sorry, David. I was saying that, what, or your sheep will get eaten. <laughs> your sheep, your will, sheep get will get eaten. eaten. That's right. Yes. Do creators need to contact you? Let's say I wanted to have my own room customized. How would I want? To, how would I do that? I'd you hire can, you, you for it. You can reach out to us at at, at, um, at, at um, info at aftermathislands.io. Um, Kara can put it in there, and anyone can reach out to us. The other thing I should tell everyone, because I think it's really important, is this is a self-funded project. We've done all this without taking any outside funding. 
that's a big that's a big point. It also leads me to I was going to ask how big your team is and how many devs you have because because this is this is very high quality. It's like a studio quality. So yeah, we we've been doing studio work for many years, so we don't we don't tell everybody our our, our trade secrets. Okay. Um, our all our team members. Um, we 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 can. We're very fastidious. We've been running um, marketing technology agents for many years, and you know we are starting to think about you know what we do next in terms of funding. We haven't made a decision yet, um, but we've brought this all up and running without taking any outside equity funding. That is uh, very impressive for for are, something of this quality. It's very impressive, and, and for, it's beneficial for you guys, of course, of course. When you're able to get that far on your own and you don't have those investors that uh, try to make you change things, that's very good. Yeah, I want to, I want to, uh, Game54 underscore 20 says, soon they ask your sin too. No, no way. We don't ask for your social insurance number. We don't ask for your SSN. We do not need it. You can be all anonymous. All we need is your, bu- yeah, we, all we need is facial recognition. We don't even keep your picture. We do a facial map. We need to verify your device. And you need to tell us how old you are. And if you lie, we know because we use artificial intelligence against your biometrics. Those are the three things we need to get in. If you want to provide more information down the road to an advertiser or marketer, that's at your discretion. Because asking for a SIN number is actually against the law. So we don't, we don't do that. So it's easy. We want to prove you're a real person. We don't need to know who you are. We don't need your personally identifiable information. So game five got underscore twenty, absolutely incorrect. We don't need that info. Yeah. In in awesome. Aftermath Islands and in Elcott, you are a string of digits. That's and it. it says, Are you over the age of thirteen? Yes. I still don't know how old you are. Yes. Do you live yeah. in this particular region? Yes. Okay, you're allowed to play. I think Game Five is just kidding around, but that, that's a good point. So you, I want that's good that you highlighted that uh, you use facial recognition to do it all, and so you can be, and it's only AI, so you can be anonymous. Only the AI is gonna like use that verification. It's not like you uh, you're not gonna have a database that the people look at the info, right? It's only used for this verification. It's it's a map of yeah. I, I, I want to, but uh, you know, I want to go back to. I I know he's kidding or she's kidding. But our parent company, Liquid Avatar, is one of the leading companies in digital identity around the world. So yes, we don't we understand all that fraud stuff, and we understand giving info, and that's why we've designed this so you don't have to give info. That's the whole point. The point is we don't want your info. We just want to know you're real. Mm-hmm. Legal to play. Legal to play. Because why do you want to be in a place? Let, let me ask everyone a question. Okay, because I ask this whenever I speak publicly. Would you, if I said to you today, I'm going to take you into a darkened room full of strangers in the physical world. I'm going to take you into a darkened room full of strangers in disguise. You don't know if anybody is a good person or a bad person. Could be very bad, very good. We don't know. How comfortable would most people be going into that room physically? Most people say they're not very comfortable. How comfortable would you be asking a, a young sibling over the age of 13, a young teenager, cousin, niece, nephew, whatever the case may be. People say no way. Yet we let people do this online every single day. Our technology for, for proof of humanity and verification removes that barrier. It, oh, here's somebody. So it lets people come in, but it allows everybody to know that everyone in that platform is gonna act responsibly and will be accountable for their actions. Yeah, it makes sense. I think you're, I think, the, I think you're focusing on not taking info. I think that, that, well, that that's what you want to do. Game, game 520 keeps focusing on all these negative things. And I, and I apologize that I'm, I'm focused here, but I wanna make sure everybody's clear. All that stuff we don't do, we do exactly the opposite. So, you know, you can say people take your information but we don't want to. That's why we don't do KYC. This is the whole point of not doing KYC. But it, it, but anyways, I'll, I'll drop that because this is this is something that will go n- not much farther. But at the end of the day, this is the functionality that you're getting. You're mm-hmm. getting a a high resolution um, gameplay application. Uh, sorry, download 
with, uh, with proof of humanity. Those that want to play will play. Those that don't, won't. But we think we've designed something for everyone out there that wants a great experience and um, doesn't want to buy, you know, a uh, Republic of Gaming laptop. Can, people are concerned about uh, other people using your biometrics. What if somebody was to hold a photo of, of you while they're logging in? Is that a possibility? We do a, live, we do a liveness check. You can't do that. Okay, okay. Uh, I think this is just kind of newer. Uh, a lot of projects yeah, don't absolutely. do stuff like this. So it's just, I think it's very fascinating. I think I think it's great that you don't ask for info and it is only AI based while you're still squashing the bad actor problem. You, I mean, you're going to have, you're going to have a bunch of fraudsters in there if you just open a door. So this is, this is a way to avoid that. Well, that that's why Rob said everyone will be able to come into the, the clubhouse, the starting zone. But only those that are ver that that have our proof of humanity can chat. So there's no spamming. No, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, we're gamers. We we've been gamers for oh my gosh, can't even tell you guys how long. <laughs> Started playing um, Leisure, Leisure Suit Larry in the Land of Love and Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy in the 1980s. We've been around the block. We understand this. We've developed high-end technology. Um, and 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 marketing technology and engagement technology. So, that's, so that's we my understand the problem. That's right. my shortcut of Elden Ring right there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, so we understand what everyone is saying, but like everyone else, we haven't. I, I haven't been a victim of this, but we know lots of people have been victims of fraud. When we set out to do this, we found a better way. We worked within the industry standards, the government standards, and and we did it. And we said. We don't want to ask you for more information than we need, but we want to keep the fraudsters and the bad people out. And there's got to be a balance. Mm -hmm. And this is, you're, we're kind of on ground level too, as far as like getting, yeah. I mean, your, your, your development is like top notch, it looks like to me, the quality is. But as far as getting it out there, it's going to be improving. You're going to be testing. That's what you're doing. You're yeah. testing right now. Uh, and exactly. as technology increases too, that's you're going to be adapting that as it goes too to make everything secure and that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm sure security and privacy is also a big deal for you in everything you do. So I mean that that's a valid point, absolutely right. Like absolutely. It, to not bring in infor, uh, you know personal identifiable um, identifiable information into the game means there's nothing to hack. You can't steal right. someone's identity if the identity is not there to steal. Yeah, the, the only point, point would be, I guess, the login point, which is the the concern. Oh, if I have a photo well, or if I'm <laughs> holding it on you, someone, I don't, I don't know. This is all new stuff. You don't really see games doing it. I think that's have you, have just you ever, part of. Have you ever logged in? Have you ever logged into your phone with your face? Yeah, it'd be the same thing, wouldn't it? I don't no. use that, but uh, yes, yeah, plenty no, of people do because we don't we don't use facial recognition on the phone. I think people are. I think people are are, are trying to find the the negatives with this. I mean, banks use a username and password. That's probably the lowest form of of financial institutions that you could use. And and you know, um, we don't even ask. Here's the really cool part: when you log into Alcott, we don't even ask you for a username and password. You just scan a QR code, answer with your credential, and you're in. You don't even have to use a username and password. Password, nothing to remember. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's really neat. What um, uh, you 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 explain things well. You already showed the place pretty well. What are some different types of lands that you already have and that you might have in the future? I think you already covered some, but maybe sure. some more, like t types yeah, of no, different no activities that people will yep. do in the future. Yep. So so. Right now we have, and if you go to aftermathislands.com, you can see the different types of theme islands. Um, we have many different types of theme islands, whether it's, um, you know, Black Forge Bay, you know, which is sort of dwarven, uh, Camelot Key, which is, you know, medieval. Collector Isle is, is meant for, uh, I'm a big comic book collector for so the comic book <coughs> cards and that kind of stuff. Cyber Island is a future island, which is sold out. <coughs> Dino Roar Alley is a dinosaur. Uh, Dragon, Dragon Alley for dragons um that's elven isle for for an elvish experience galactic gateway again outer space um themed land-based outer space island we've got harvest island for farming horseshoe bay 
Yeah, so, so these are all totally different bit. from each other. So can yeah. you can you go into yeah. any any of them? You will be when it's live. You can, you can go from place to place. Yeah, you can go from place to place. And then we have different types of estate islands, which are more more smaller islands with larger plots. And then we have community islands, and our community islands are are safe zones, so that so that you can work and learn and earn and and do things everyday life in these safe zones. And then and then we're adding additional private islands for for brands and for other organizations. Awesome. So there's a lot to, lot on the go. Um, you know, we'll have theme parks. We'll have e-commerce we'll have restaurants we'll have crafting we've got everything currently gonna have it all it's gonna be real life and more because you got the fantasy lands too so it could be really anything uh and then your all your items are nfts and they go right to your wax so you're owning all your stuff it's not like second life where it's only video games you're it's gonna be on web three so that's a big deal right there yeah uh and then your items obviously you can they're nft so you can flip them and you'll be able at the, at that point you'll be able to buy items too to use in the game from the market well again we we only support our we 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 understand that people can do that we support our in-game activities but but yeah and 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 we've got this lux lines is an upcoming private island where where it's all lion themed mm. and then horror harbor which rob just showed is a horror based island that's coming so we've got lots of different things. We've got something for everyone. And I think at the end of the day, um, you know, you've got to try it and see if it works for you. And if it does, you'll engage. And mm-hmm. we hope that you'll uh, invite your friends. Uh, things like Dinosaur Island. So you're going to have dinosaurs like running around and stuff. Do you, yeah, do yeah. you interact with them? To, you'll be able to question them. We have Fab Island, um, uh, which is all based on sort of a Beatles type of theme. Um, there's so many different opportunities. Someone should go, everyone should go to aftermathislands.com, look around, see if, if there's something that interests you. You might want to buy a plot of land on one of the islands. Um, join our Discord channel, and Kara can put our Discord channel in there and come and listen to our weekly AMAs. Um, we have professions. There's so much that you can do um, as we move forward. That is awesome. That is awesome. Uh, uh, thank you. Yeah, uh, any we're, we're about to wrap up here. I'm gonna do. Sure. You have a few minutes left on this bounty block, so it uh, looks like. Uh, no, well, I think we've kind of covered it all. Why don't we? Why don't we get to what you need to do, and and we'll go from there. Yeah. Anybody got more questions? Of course, they're still here. Uh, the booth is gonna be here. It's gonna remain here. The websites are there. Their Discord is there. So if anybody's interested and wants to know more, you know how to do it. Uh, I'm sure you're going to be around in the rest of the con too, walking yeah. around and different things like that. So you can, you're always free to engage with them, with anybody. Uh, here is the bounty block. It's going to end in uh, very shortly, wherever it says it. Oh, two minutes. So yeah. anybody mm-hmm. here that hasn't done it yet, you're welcome to. Well, thank you for having us today. We really pr- uh, appreciate it. Oh, of course. Yeah, uh, yeah. Thanks for coming on and doing, uh, do it, explaining it. Maybe I'll have you on uh, again in the future because I do. Uh, uh, for consumer break, we have weekly collabs. Maybe we'll bring you on a, a weekly collab and do a puzzle game. But yeah, well, and 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 we can design some prizes around that weekly collab. And again, we're just about to hit a million NFTs. Um, Kara can reach out to you and and maybe you want to be part of our million uh, NFT celebration. Oh boy! We're bring on partners to help with that. Yeah, we can definitely, we can definitely talk about that that stuff in the future. We're also gonna have more cons. Uh, I don't know. We don't know a next date, but whenever we have more cons, I, of course, would love to have you guys and and everybody here back. So, okay, is it over yet? Because as soon as this contest is over, I'm gonna draw the winners and announce them. And then we'll raid over to the next event, which is at Atomic Hub. Well, thank you very much. We'll, uh, we'll, we really appreciate everybody's time, effort. And if you have any questions, again, send them to uh, come to Discord or send them to our email, and we'd be happy to answer them all. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, guys, very much. Thank you. Have a great afternoon.
Thank you. Uh, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know what um, what this project was about till now. I didn't know it was a full blown uh, metaverse like this. So uh, that was very cool to learn about. All right, we got five seconds. That's about it. That's about all the time we got for this bounty block. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for hosting. No, of course. Uh, I'm just going to stay here for just another minute. We're going to announce these winners and then we'll raid. We'll raid. Really cool. Starting first, my first playing during the stream, says Anacron. Okay, that's great. That's really cool. All right, we have uh, five winners. Uh, one Anaphtobia pin and and four from our from my collection. Consumer break. Here we go. Drawing winners. Boom, 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 boom. The pack of one promo NFT from Consumer Break goes to BMLAW.wham. The Anaphtopia pin, which isn't the template yet, but you guys will get them all later, goes to XFZRE.wham. And then a puzzle piece from Consumer Break goes to QE4Z2, Funkin Crypto, and 43SJS.wham. Congratulations! If anybody wants to say they won, <laughs> congratulations! <laughs> First time chat, big game. Good luck all. Hey, welcome to the stream. All right. So uh, I'm going to catch up on like prizes later. Uh, uh, maybe maybe later tonight and by tomorrow, but otherwise after the weekend because I'm just, I'm literally doing all these events back to back. So uh, by Sunday, anybody that won in the entire weekend on any of these events, you will get your prizes on Monday at the latest. Monday, Tuesday at the latest. All right. Our next event. We'll be at Atomic Hub. I think they are in Vandals Hall. And they will be having a Twitter space. So I'm going to raid over there. I'm just going to walk over there. Even though I've had lag problems, I'm still going to walk over there for the raid train, the hype train. Anybody's welcome to follow along. Or you can just teleport there. And we'll be live streaming their Twitter space. And there will be another bounty block. All right. So it's been fun and real. Thank you guys for explaining. Thanks to everybody that was here listening along. It was a fun time. And I'm just overjoyed that there's this many people already uh, at Enoftopia. It's going to continue the rest of the weekend. It's going to be fantastic. So I'll see you over at Atomic Hub, y'all. Let's read! <laughs> Bye-bye.